Hello everyone, welcome to Salesforce Predator. In this channel, we discuss about various concepts and technologies in Salesforce. In this video series, we are discussing about processes. In today's video, we'll see how we can make changes to existing process. So we already have one process which we have created in previous video and we have activated it. So now we have to make changes to this process. Okay, so this is the process. I'll click on this process. You can see it is active. So uh, to make changes to the process which is active, you cannot directly do it. What you have to do is you have to clone that existing process and while cloning either you can uh, save this new process as a version of current process or you can create a new process out of it. Okay, so I'll select version of a current process and we'll keep a, a name and API name as it is. We'll click on save. So you'll be able to clone this uh, process and create a new version of this process. Okay. Now, uh, if you want to make changes to criteria or actions, so you can do that. Okay. So uh, let's say in the existing process, uh, we had a criteria that subject contains string demo. Let's say we want to change and make it subject contains string class. Okay. And we want to just save that. And for actions, we want to make stated as escalated. Okay. And I have to save this action. And uh, next, what we have to do is we have to activate this new version of process. And uh, while activating, you will be shown this message that activating this process will automatically disable or you can say deactivate any active version of this process. Okay. So we already had one process uh, version. So that will get deactivated. Okay. So if I click on confirm, you will see this process got uh, this version of process got activated. And if you go back to view all processes, you will see there are two versions version one and version two. This uh, version one was uh, the one which we created in previous video, and uh, the other one is which we created in now. Okay. So this one is active, and other one got inactive. Right. So now if you go to Salesforce cases and if you click on new case and let's say you added subject as test class and click on save. Notice the status. Oh, sorry, you need to specify case origin. Now if you notice the status you will see status got changed to escalated. Why? Because subject was having this string class. Okay. So this is how you can create multiple versions of a process and decide which one you need to keep it uh, active. Okay. Uh, if you have any questions, you can write it down in the comment section. Thank you for watching. Do not forget to subscribe this channel.